Let's resume the case. We have an object we want to put in hard lines. This is where we create the layer for it. We hatch. And uh, if you decide to put the thickness for it, okay, I okay. Yeah, so on the draw, come to hatch. Yeah, so in this place, this is the hatch and gradient box. You have the gradient side, you have the hatch side. On hatch, come here under pattern. This box, this button here, click on it to show you the different hatch patterns. Depending on what you want, select this is fancy under S or this is different hatch patterns. This different hatch patterns that you can use. Scroll down, take the time to check. You can also customize. Okay, let's just say you want to use this one, you click on this sound, like NC3, click OK. This is the angle, this is the scale. Now, let us have an idea of what it looks like under angle 0 and scale 1.0. See, on that big point, you can click select objects, you can also select big points. It will, it will take note of the boundary lines. Quick, quick points. You click here. See, it has taken note of this as the boundary. So it is going to be right inside here. Whatever you're going to patch be within the boundaries of these dash lines. It's not going to be here unless you want it to be here. If you click inside here, you will notice it's here with one dash. Click inside here, here with one dash. But I've only clicked inside here. That's the only side I want to use. Okay, then you right click. And use this is a preview of, of what you want. If exactly how you want it. See the hatch pattern, see the way it's slanted. See how fine it is. If you want it wider apart and you want to change the orientation, the angle, inclination, use the escape key to come back. In this place you can choose 90 and on that scale you can decide to use 5.0 and let us have a preview of it look at it the spacings are more you can see through them it's not kind of like before let us click the escape key let's use 45 on that angle and see see the lines are straight so depending on what you're trying to achieve you can always tell on the preview of what will be the aftermath. If you're cool with that, just click OK and it stays there. Okay, yeah. yeah. Alright, under uh, hatch, let's take a look at this wheel hatch. Yeah, so that's the layer you want to place this hatch on. Wheel hatch. If you want to lock it up, you can always probably close that layer. Close it and you will see it. Yeah, it's a one object to, to frozen or off layer, remove from the selection. So, yeah, it's there, but you can see it. You want to see it? You know, just a bit. Click back, yeah. It's back. That's it on hard. For gradients, do the same thing, the same way. Come below hatch and you draw to command click. On gradient and instead of hatch, we're now on gradient. Now you have the option to choose one color and also to choose two colors. I know what you want to do and see what you want to see in just one color. So every other thing is going to be different. So you see that button, you click on this button, you choose the color you want. Let's say you want this color. Yeah. Nice. Click OK. So I just like it to look like click here and keep the space bar to call it back. Click this, this is a preview of what it looks like. So you see one color. This is a skip key to come back. If you don't want that, you can always just keep switching to check. Choose this one, see what it looks like in the preview. See the brightness on these two ends, right? The dark side is at the center. Skip key to come back. You want the darker side to get the edge, the brighter side at the center. You 
get it. See, very interesting. That's a, yeah, so if you cool, they just press OK and that is that. Okay. If you also want to change, probably you don't want to use the ones that you want to play with two, two different colors. Come on that two color. And for this first color, you choose probably this. Click OK. Then come in the second color. Click on this place. And decide to choose, say, this. Let's choose this index color. And decide to use this one. Click OK. And it's weird, right? Decide to choose something. Something close to the green, I think. Something somewhere around here. That's what it looks like. This is mild, not very mild anyway. Come here, on that true color. Shame, just dim it a little. Yeah, this is more like it. More like it. You can choose this place. Come up here a little. Anyway, I just see what it looks like. Click inside here, this time around is where I want it. Right click on the preview. What it looks like? It's two colors. You see that one color on has is plain with white. Why in this case see see the way the color is flowing. The, the, the other color is at the end, why the lighter color is at the center. You want to change you can see the escape key. Come back and say you want to use this one. Preview, so you see the darker side is at the center, the light, the other color is at the end, you know. And if you could, they just right click on your mouse and it stays there. So that is practically done. I can break it.